Hi guys, today I'm showing you how to make a satin bow clip. If that sounds like something that would interest you, then keep watching. Alright, I just want to preface this video by saying that all of my DIYs are not the best finish. They're always going to look a little rough and handmade, but I promise you, they get the job done. So if you're thrifty like I am, you might enjoy these handmade bow clips. For this DIY, you're gonna need some satin fabric, some buckram or stiff net, some fabric glue. I'm using fevicryl because it's relatively inexpensive. You'll also need a root clip and a hot glue gun. If you are a DIYer, then a hot glue gun is a must-have item. I bought this gun for 150 rupees from Chandni Market. And of course, you'll also need some glue sticks. Alright, so let's begin. First, you want to decide on the size of your bow. I'll mention all my dimensions in the description box, so you can check that out. As you can see, the bow that I've created is looped or folded. And this is going to give the bow some nice body and some nice stiffness. You'll need to cut your fabric in a rectangle. Take roughly two and a half times the length of your bow. And in fact, I'd say take a little extra for good measure. And for the breadth, take a little more than two times. Now you're going to want to cut the fabric in shape. Measure everything once again to see that you've got it right. My sincere recommendation would be to cut a little more than you require at first and then size down if needed. Okay, now keeping the shiny side of the satin inside, you're going to want to fold the fabric lengthwise in half. We want to glue down the edges with fabric glue. Make sure you use a tiny bit of glue and do not use too much. Else you'll have these wet patches which are unseemly looking. This seam is anyway going to be hidden in the finished product, but it's always better to be precautious, right? Now fold the edge down very delicately. Wait for at least two minutes before touching it. <laughs> Till then you can twiddle your thumbs like I am. Now gingerly press down on the seam. Wait for 10 minutes and allow the seam to dry. Now you can press down by adding some pressure. Alright, now we're going to turn the fabric inside out. Make sure that your glue is completely dry before you start this step.
You also want to keep the seam in the middle. So you can try placing a heavy object on it and add some pressure like I am right now. So go in an ironing motion, keeping your seam in the middle. Now I'll just fold the fabric twice and then judge the aesthetics of it. Alright, so this bit is a little hard to explain, but aesthetically you'll find a sweet spot when it comes to the length and the breadth ratio of the bow. You want your bow to look a little pudgy. If it's too long, it's not going to look cute. Judging by what I have right now, I want to chop off some of the length. This step totally depends on your personal aesthetics on what you want the final product to look like. So cut it down to size so that when you fold it in three the size looks just about right. Now I'm just going to take my buckram and I'm going to cut it in a rectangle first. Then I'm cutting it in the shape of a bow. I'm freehanding this because very honestly it does not have to be perfect. You're not going to see this anyway. I'm just using this buckram to add some stiffness to the bow so that it's not like all floppy and floopy. So basically, this is going to be my bow's insert. So now you just want to insert that buckram bow that you just created into the fabric and center it. Once you have it in the center, fold the edges down. Alright, so that looks about right. Now we're going to push one end of the fabric into the other. So just gather one end and then just push it into the other. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to want to glue this down so that it doesn't move out of place. Use a tiny bit of fabric glue and secure the edges. wait for this to dry before you touch it okay this was a mistake thankfully all of this is going to be hidden once everything is nice and dry you want to cut out a bit of satin in the shape of a ribbon all right so this next part is also a little difficult to explain you want the bow to have a middle fold this makes the bow aesthetically pleasing 
So what you'll do is place your finger in the center and pinch the fabric down. Now holding this in place, tie the ribbon around it. And then finesse a bit. You can chop off this excess fabric if you don't want hangy bits and you just want a bow. Side note, can you see how cute that middle fold looks? Alright, so now we want to glue down the root clip to the bow. I recommend gluing the flat surface onto the back of the bow. This is going to make the root clip much easier to hold. So using my glue gun, I'm going to do the needful. Now just wait for this to dry. A little tip, if you're right-handed, then place the handle of the clip on the opposite side. And if you're left-handed, then place the handle of the clip on the right-hand side. This only makes a difference if you have hangy bits to your bow clip. If it's just a bow and you're cutting your hangy bits off, it doesn't really matter because you don't really know which side is up. Alright, so there you have it. Your satin bow clip is complete. If you use enough hot glue, this bow is going to last you for a very long time. However, if it comes undone, then just scrape off the hot glue and place another blob of it and then stick it in place. That was it guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this DIY. You're free to make this in any size and color of your choosing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're into DIYs and all things curly hair. Thank you so much for watching guys. As always, I will see you in the next one.